Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create alerts in SharePoint Online. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint Online tutorials. Also, be sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Acabellis to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I am going to show you how to create alerts on different elements in SharePoint Online, including document libraries, folders, files, and even in SharePoint Online list. Now you can see here that I am currently in a document library called Documents. And more specifically, I am in a folder called General. Now, when you're using the out of the box alerts feature in SharePoint Online, you can create alerts really at any level. Now, if I wanted to start by creating an alert for this particular folder, General, and I'll just back out to show you. So I'm in my documents library in general. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come over to the three dots here and you want to go ahead and click on alert me. And this is going to bring you into the alerts page. Now this page is going to be the same no matter whether you're creating alerts on a document uh, library, on a folder, on a file, or in any other element in SharePoint Online. Now when you're filling out the alert form, the first thing you need to do is give your alert a title. Okay, uh, now specifically what the title is going to be used for is this is going to be the subject of the alert. So you can see here it says this is included in the subject of the notification sent for this particular alert. Um, my recommendation is either put something really descriptive or just leave it um, to the default value that's populated so it's very clear what this alert is for. And in this case you can see documents colon general which means this alert is on the entire general folder. Now the next thing you want to fill out is the delivery method. Uh, the default method is to send an email notification, okay? And you can see um, that it is going to populate the email address associated with your user profile. So again, these alerts are actually uh, created at a, an individual user level, okay? Uh, and depending on what your enterprise setup is, you could also have um, text messages fired if you had that service enabled. Now you can see here this option is grayed out for me because I don't have this enabled in my SharePoint online environment. Now the next thing that you need to do is define your change type. And specifically what this is, is when do you want to be notified um, of modifications that are happening in the particular place that you're setting up your alert. Now the options are somewhat limited, so you can choose to receive a notification on all changes. So any change that's made to this particular folder, if something's added, deleted, edited, um, you are going to get a notification. You can also just set it to new items. So when new items are added to this particular folder, you want to receive a notification. Uh, you can choose to have alerts sent when existing items are modified or deleted. So really there's finite options here. Um, in this case, what I am going to do is I'm just going to leave this as existing items are modified so we can go in and see what this looks like uh, when somebody updates a document in this particular folder. Next, you can choose to specify some particular criteria. And again, there are finite options. So you can see here, this says specify whether to filter alerts based on specific criteria. Uh, so you can restrict your alerts to only include items that show in a particular view, for example. Um, so you can see here, the option is send me an alert when anything changes, uh, when someone else changes a document, when someone else changes a document created by me or a document that's last modified by me. So really the use case for these alerts is uh, perhaps you are working on a file and you wanna maintain perhaps you know strict document control. So these are useful to help you stay up to date on changes that are being made to again, a folder, a library, a document, et cetera. And the last option here is really when do you want to send alerts? So you can have SharePoint fire a notification immediately upon the trigger event 
executing. Uh, or you could perhaps, again, depending on the frequency of changes being made to that um, trigger element, you could perhaps have a daily summary sent or a weekly summary. And again, if you select daily, you'll choose what time you want this to fire. And if you're sending it weekly, then you'll have to select the date and the time. Now for demonstration purposes, I'll just go ahead and select send notification immediately. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and I have created this alert. Now, before I actually show you what it looks like in action, if you wanted to modify the alert that you just created, again, you're going to come up to the top here and click on the three dots. And this time you're going to click on manage my alerts. And this is going to bring you into the my alerts on this particular SharePoint site. And you can see the alert that we just created. Um, if I wanted to perhaps delete this, I could check it and click delete selected alerts. Or if I wanted to edit it, I could just click on the hyperlink and it's going to bring me right back into the alert form. All right, now whenever you set up an alert, you will also receive an email confirmation that indicating that you have set up an alert. So you can see here, you have successfully created an alert for and it's going to pipe in the alert title. Uh, it's going to also remind you on which SharePoint online site you set up this alert and it's going to include a link uh, to the My Alerts on the site page in case you want to modify this particular alert, okay? Uh, now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I am going to modify a file stored on that SharePoint online site in the general folder so that we can actually see this alert in action. So what I have done here is I am now logged in as a different user and I am in the Human Resources SharePoint online site in the document library in the general folder and I'm going to go ahead and open this employee list Excel file and just uh, make a change here. We can see that it is saved and I'll go ahead and close out this file. And now I'm going to flip back into um, my Outlook impersonating my colleague Diego here so that you can actually see this notification fire in real time. And so you can see here that this email has been fired and it is going to tell me documents general. So the title, the particular file, and it is going to say that it has been changed and it's also going to indicate the user and the time. Okay, and again, at any point in time, if you wanted to view the document or modify the settings, you have the hyperlinks here. So that is how to create an alert on a SharePoint online site, specifically in a document library on a folder. Uh, and now we'll just quickly look at how to replicate that on a SharePoint list. Again, the process is exactly the same, uh, but we'll have a quick look so that you can see how to do it. All right, now to add an alert to a SharePoint list, you wanna follow the exact same steps as to add it to a document library or a folder or a file. So you can see here, I am in my SharePoint list. Uh, this is just a test list I created called invoices with three columns here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the three dots and click on alert me. And you are going to notice that the alert me form is the exact same. So I'll just leave the default title. Um, I will have my alerts fire via email. Uh, I am going to have an alert fire whenever any change is made to this list. So items are added, deleted, or modified. Uh, again, I'm not going to specify any specific filters uh, and I am going to leave the default to send a notification immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And so I have now created my alert and what I will do is I will quickly flip over into this list. Now here I'm impersonating another user and I'm going to go ahead and create a new item in this list. And so I have now created this item and I will quickly flip over into Outlook impersonating my colleague Diego. And you can see here that the email notification fired, alerting me that a new record has been added in this list. And again, it's going to show you the user that added the item, uh, the title, the amount, and the status. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create alerts in SharePoint Online. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like it and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint Online tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.